Adolescent girls in Oshun State are undergoing a five-day training on comprehensive sexuality education to equip them with useful and necessary knowledge on sexual and reproductive health. The training was organized by a non-governmental organization, Action Health Incorporated, in partnership with the United Nations Population Fund, UNFPA. The in-school and out-of-school girls, including those with disabilities, participated in the training holding in Ede between Monday, May 27, and Friday, May 31. A seasoned university administrator, Dr. Modisola Ireti Aino, during one of the sessions, charged the girls to stay focused and strive to be successful in life. They should place value on themselves and preserve themselves. They should preserve themselves. They should preserve their body. That's the only power they have for now. So they should preserve themselves and face their future. They should not have anybody to just taste them and go away. No. They are fearfully and wonderfully made. They should focus in them as much as they have education, they can get to anywhere. Education is just the bedrock. It's the bedrock of everything, the foundation. And because they have this education, they can get anywhere. Um, how they can make healthy decisions, inform decisions about their sexual reproductive health. So at the end of this program, we believe that these um, young people, the adolescents that would have been equipped with adequate knowledge and skills to be champions and advocates of FGM, GBV, and also passing the message of sexual education to their peers and even the community members in their communities. Being in this training, I've learned a lot. They taught us how a girl menstruates during a puberty period. They also taught us about values. They differentiate between positive and negative, wrong and right values. They also taught us about life skills. There are many types of skills, like universal skills, negotiation skills, and communication skills. What a man can do as a gender, we feel no strategy that can do more better. But the only thing that makes us different is that it's only men that can regulate. We women, we are just called the pregnancy. Men cannot go to pregnancy. So we talk about also the female genital mutilation, that is FGM, in which we are talking about the female circumcision, which is not acceptable for any female child because it has a lot of effects and it causes a lot of damages as the child, the female child grows up. So a lot of lessons were taught. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.